dice and get your parlay ready. A new era of gambling has started in Florida. After a years long battle, sports betting along with craps and roulette have made their debut in Florida casinos. Hello, I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. And one of the places that you can get your game on is all in Florida. And it's right at the heat of the, or right here at the, at the Seminole Casino in Immokalee. And Wink News, of course, was there where the first bets were placed. And that's where we find Wink News reporter Michelle Alvarez. Michelle, how busy has it been at that casino today? Russ, from the first minute they opened the doors here, the Seminole Casino Hotel in Immokalee says this is a new era of Florida gaming. Want to shoot craps, roll the roulette wheel, bet on your favorite team? You can do that and more at the Seminole Casino Hotel in Immokalee. The atmosphere is vibrant, uh, surprising for 10 o'clock in the morning, but it's all good. Gamblers packed the casino Monday morning, hoping to be among the first to enjoy these new legal gambling options in Southwest Florida. This ceremony marked a new era in Florida gaming. We're here because we're playing dice, we're playing roulette. We got the new game in here, so you got to come down. And, and we're grooving, baby. We're grooving, baby. This is my first time here, and I'm so excited to see that this is just in our backyard. Um, I definitely will come back and bring my husband and we'll have fun. The goal of the Seminole Tribe is to bring more people to Immokalee with these new games. It's all part of a 30 year gaming compact signed by the Seminole Tribe and the state of Florida in 2021. It took that long to get through all the legal challenges. Betting now being legal in the state of Florida is a huge addition. You know, it's been incredibly well received throughout the United States. And finally getting this deal to the finish line um, certainly helps us grow our business and creates, you know, another thousand jobs over another separately 350 jobs in technology, over $650 million to the state of Florida this year alone. I love it. Hall of Fame football coach Jimmy Johnson, the singer Ashanti, and actor Rudy Ramos from the TV show Yellowstone were among the celebrities on hand to celebrate Monday's opening. It's a big time casino now, just like in Vegas. You don't have to go to Vegas. I'm, I'm very, very happy for the nation, for the Seminole Nation, that this has happened because they fought really hard for this. And they got it. They got it done. So if they can do this, they can do anything. And with the expansion of gaming here in Southwest Florida comes some worry. I did some checking and found that the Florida Council on Compulsive Gaming says a large majority of the population gambles responsibly, but for one to three percent, it can become a problem. I'm live in Immokalee, Michelle Alvarez, Wink News. I'm Michelle, thanks. And as part of the gambling deal with Governor DeSantis, the Seminole Tribe will begin paying the state of Florida hundreds of millions of dollars. But how will that money be spent? Well, the answer is not really decided yet. The money that is made from the multi-billion dollar industry of sports betting will be added to the Florida budget as a surplus. But right now, the budget has not accounted for the money that the Seminole Tribe will pay. This year, that will change. The Seminoles agreed to pay Florida about $20 billion, including $2.5 billion over the first five years of the agreement. The amount would dip by $50 million a year if sports betting is not in effect, essentially guaranteeing the state an annual minimum payment of $450 million.